So one of the things that really add some life to your prop or your project you're working on are the eyes. So today we're going to go over a quick little tutorial on how to make your own eyes for your project. What you what you want? What you what you want? Now there's a lot of different ways to make eyes and there's a lot of different tutorials out there on, on <clears throat> how to make eyes. This is just kind of how I do it. It's uh, not as easy as some, but uh, I enjoy it. So some of the things we're going to need or one of the main things we're going to need are some little wooden balls. I know this is a mache, but I'm going to cheat it. We're going to use these little wooden balls. And these are about an inch, uh, an inch round ball. That's about the right size for a human eye anyway. If you're making a bigger monster or something different, you might want to go bigger. But for these, we're going to use an inch. Some other tools are going to need to do the job. You're going to need a drill, a small drill bit, some kind of a clamp. Um, this comes in very handy, which is a compass. Because uh, unlike other tutorials where they just tell you to get a print out the iris and eyes and glue it down, if you got access to a color printer, I mean, that's great, it's awesome, it's fast. However, some people, like me, I don't have a color printer, I have a black and white printer. So this tutorial, we're gonna be painting in the eyes. We're gonna show you exactly how to do that. So in order for that, you're gonna need a compass. Um, styrofoam, subtype, this is an A carton. This has nothing to do with making the eyes. It just has to do with holding them into place while you're painting them let them dry you'll need paints and you're going to want some red yarn and some mod podge and possibly even a uh, two-part epoxy once it's all done at the end it's all up to you and what you want to do so uh let's get started oh yeah you're going to want a couple toothpicks too so one of the first things we want to do is drill a little hole in our ball that we can put a toothpick in that way we can hold it, paint all the way around it, set up to dry and we're not touching the ball. This is where the clamp's gonna come into play. If you've got a, a wood clamp, it works even better, but any kind of little C clamp or anything will work just fine. And we're just using the clamp to hold the ball in place while we drill it so it doesn't go anywhere. And to make it uh, easier to start your hole, you can take a, a punch or a screw like I got and we're going to start just a little starter hole for a drill bit. Anytime you're using hand tools or power tools like that, be careful. Uh, you can poke a hole in your finger and you don't want to do that. So use caution when you're doing this at home. All right, now that we've got our holes drilled in our balls, we're just going to take our toothpicks and insert them into place. Go ahead and break one into the tip off. And then just stick your toothpick in there like a lollipop. All right, so that's pretty much all the kind of mechanical work we're gonna do with this from here on out. It's just really uh, paint and detail. So the first thing we're gonna do is get a good coat of white paint all over our uh, eye here. We're gonna base it out in white. Uh, may take two or three coats to get the job done, but. Now, it's hard to see with this lighting, but this is not a good coverage. You can still see uh, the wood ball in behind here, so we're just going to add another layer of paint. All right, so we got these covered in white, it's all dry. We're going to take our compass here and we're going to do outline for a couple pupils and then outline for the outer area of the eye itself. So your pupils they can be big small however you want to do them. Um, for this particular eye I'm going to go pretty small with that. So it's very very simple. We're just going to find the center point of our I hear and lightly trace out the pupil. And 
just like that right there. Now without moving that, I went ahead and traced out my other pupil. Now we're gonna set this up for the color on the eye. And what I do is I go back right to the center point where I punctured with this little needle and then I lay it out and judge a distance out that's gonna be decent for the color itself. Once you get that distance that you like and you're comfortable with it, go ahead and trace that out as well. And that gives you a decent starting point to paint in your eye. Now the next thing we're gonna do is paint the color in the eye. We'll always go with black for the pupil. Um, as far as the color within the eye itself, you can do whatever you want, whatever colors you want. If you look on uh, Google Images, there'll be a ton of incredible pictures and eyes to use for references. You can see the multiple layers of colors within an eye. Uh, you can get as detailed as you want with it, or you can go as plain and easy as you want with it. Um, right now, starting out, the uh, main bulk of the color is going to be this lighter gray. I'll come back in with this uh, darker gray here and put some detail line in, starting from the pupil down and then the outer edge of the eye in. And we may even hit it with a few small lines of white too, just depends on the way it looks. But uh, we'll get started with the color right here. Now we're going to move on to our other color. Ah, this is more of a silver, but I think it'll work. It'll make for an interesting eye. I use the heat gun in between layers, it speeds up the drying time and get the job done faster. Now this could pass as an eye, I mean it's definitely looks like an eye if it was sitting inside something and you had it in your hot or whatever, it could go past just like that, but we're going to add some more detail to this thing. So this is a charcoal gray, I know it looks more like a black, but it's a charcoal gray. I watered it down just a little bit. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to take that gray and I'm going to come around this outer edge and we're going to give this outer edge a good hit of this color and then we're going to just kind of pull it down in some areas just do some pull downs like this all the way through and then we're going to come around and go around the pupil itself with that same gray and get a nice little line there we're going to pull that down as well and that's going to start adding you know that if you look at the picture of an eye you can see these strands of color that run overlapping each other from the pupil to the outside of the eye itself and uh, that's what we're trying to create here. So that dark gray really makes that pupil kind of disappear. Got a little sloppy. I'm going to take some white, clean up this outside edge. And I'm going to see what I can do to uh, maybe make that pupil not so spread out looking. We'll see what happens. I usually go with lighter colors, greens and yellows and reds and things like that and there's a major contrast between that pupil and everything else um if i can't get the contrast i'm looking for we i may just turn around and make this pupil itself red and see how that looks but uh we'll just see how it goes we're gonna lay a few more colors in here i think i'm gonna go ahead and with the whites put some whites in there and maybe even come back with some silvers a little bit and see what we can do with that pupil but uh it'll turn out for a decent eye all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit inside the eye. We're gonna do some, uh, just some white strokes in here. See what happens with that. 
We're going to thin the brush out a little bit though before we do this. Now for almost the last part, we're going to add some realistic blood veins to this. And we're going to do that with yarn and a little bit of Mod Podge. But the first thing we got to do is unravel this yarn down to the smallest strands of thread that you can get. So we can get it separated like that. We get down to these little bitty fine pieces and then we can just add this right onto our eye just like this. So I'm gonna get a few more of these ready to go. Now that we got a few of these ready to go, let's go ahead and put them on. So I'm just gonna take a paintbrush, dip it right into our Mod Podge here, paint it on, and then we will just lay our thread on just like that. This is one of the coolest tricks I know to make veins to make veins on your eyeball. It really turns out cool. I'm just gonna continue your way around and keep adding these on. You can make it as bloodshot as you want or as white as you want. I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up quite a bit. Okay, so now that we've got some blood veins on our eyeballs here, we're going to take some of this Mod Podge and build this area up around the eye and kind of give it more of a cone shape. And then we're going to let this stuff dry up. Now this isn't done. This is going to take two or three layers to get this where it's sunk down in and really looks like part of the eye instead of, uh, instead of something sitting on top of it. So it's going to take a couple layers, but we'll get it done. And eventually in the next couple layers, we're just going to dump this straight into the Mod Podge and set up to dry. Also, one thing I like to note, personally, usually I make my eyes way less blood bloodshot than this. But for the tutorial, just showing you guys what you can do. And I've got another little project I'm going to work on. And I'm wanting this critter to have its eyes pretty well bloodshot. So... All personal taste and what you want but this is very easy if you want less blood veins it's really nice it's hard to see but if you just get the thin teeny tiny strands and put them on there and then Mod Podge them in it's a great look and it looks natural all right so it's been a few hours and you can see this one's pretty well dry this one's not because you can't see through it yet, but uh, everything on the side is dry for now. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, trim off the bottom side of uh, the yarn right here on each side. And then I'm just going to go ahead and coat a second coat over uh, the side of the eyes for right now. We'll let that dry up. And then we may do another third little coat like that. And then once that all dries up, we know this is dry. Then we're going to wind up dunking these straight down into the Mod Podge and really building up a thick layer of Mod Podge. All right, so we've got, I got about two or three coats of Mod Podge that I've put on the sides of this. It's not looking too bad. I built up again. <clears throat> on the pupil here, made a, just to build up a higher spot. Now that I've got a few coats around this, all I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna dip it straight, straight down into the Mod Podge and coat it, let it dry. That way we can build it up and really kind of make this thick where these veins in here really are, look like they're sunk down into the eye, which is a lot, it looks a lot better as a finished product. 
So this isn't quick as far as quick dipping, but then you gotta wait for this thing to completely dry. And you'll know it's dry because it dries clear. So we're just gonna dip these, stick them in, let them dry, probably take overnight, and come back and check them. May do a little sanding on them just to make sure we're nice and round and dip them one more time. Should be done. Uh, it may take three dips. I don't know, we'll find out uh, as soon as we see how it turns out. And now we're just gonna sit and let these dry, uh, check them out tomorrow, probably sand them down a little bit and do another coat. We've got a nice thick coat on here. Everything's really kind of buried down underneath that uh, Mod Podge and that's gonna give a nice deep look and really uh, make that uh, yarn look way more like a uh, blood vein and like it's part of the eye instead of being on top of the eye. All right, so that's not looking too bad. You can see the depth in there, how those veins look like they're further down uh, into the eye itself. We're just gonna dip these one more time and call it good. All right, so we dip these things twice. And as you can see, it's, I got a little dirt in here, uh, just cause I wasn't careful. But uh, those little pieces of yarn are really deep down in there. They look really nice. It'll pass off great for an eye on any prop or any project, depending on how you set it and where you want those veins to come out in. <clears throat> but it'll work, it'll work just fine. So, last thing we're gonna do to make these uh, have that wet look or a lot shinier, Guys, if you go rob your wife's uh, nail polish kits that she got around, surely somewhere she's got some clear uh, nail polish, and that's all I'm going to use on this. You could use other things, but nail polish works um, just as good as anything else. It's quick, it's easy, and for the most part, somewhere in your house, your wife, your girlfriend, somebody's got some of this in the house. So you can go sneak it, grab it, and, and finish off your eyes with it. So real quick for the last thing, we're just going to coat these with some clear nail polish. There we go, a nice coat of clear nail polish and gives it a good wet look so really that's pretty much it to uh, making these eyes for your props are relatively easy they are a bit time-consuming especially if you paint in uh, the eyes if you were to print some out and put them on here it would be a lot quicker uh, the big thing you got to worry about is just dry time uh, so what I recommend if you're gonna have quite a few different eyes we got a few different props you're gonna do I would buy a bag of those little balls and I would just do them all at one time just sit down uh, kind of start up a little conveyor belt if you want to say or just stages and just kind of do five or six seven sets at one time that way you get more done in the same amount of time versus just working on one set of eyes because it is kind of time consuming so if you have more you're going to do uh, just do a bunch at once and then you've got eyes laid around that can go into any project but this is just a quick way this is a way not really quick but this is just another way to make eyes on your own if you want to make them you use them for anything this is how i do it they turn out pretty cool uh, and i've been pretty happy with them you can get some good detail that yarn trick that yarn trick is great for making veins on your eyes and you can do that on other things as well anyway i hope you learned something i hope you enjoyed it and if you like these types of videos, subscribe, like this, share it, and check out, uh, I'll put a couple other links up here, check out some other videos that I've got you may be interested, inter that you may be interested in. Till next time, keep making something from nothing.